I have a question. You guys believe in Jesus, that he was a prophet, not a god, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so not only in the Bible, um, inside of a book that was Apophrica in the Gospel of Thomas, it states that... So, just to make this clear, this isn't only from the Bible. This is from other historical manuscripts. I know Apocryphes. I know Apocryphes. Yeah. Yes. Um, Jesus turns water into wine. Wouldn't mm-hmm. that be considered haram? Did he just... Well, well yeah, I, there's two things yeah. there. First, that we believe that all of the messengers of God had the same teaching when it comes to God, meaning the theological aspects. They all taught to worship on God alone. They all taught these, the, there's angels, there is afterlife. These specific theological things, they all taught the same things, okay? But we believe they have different sharia, they have, they have different legislative laws. So some things were allowed in certain times of certain prophets that are not allowed in other times of other prophets. And an example of that, at the time of Joseph, who is a messenger of God, uh, he at, at his time, people were allowed to prostrate to human beings out of respect back then in history. That was allowed. But we believe that that command is abrogated today. That Prophet Muhammad said you shouldn't prostrate to anyone, any human being. It was done out of respect, not worship. But it was something that the people did in the past. In their legislation, in their sharia, what we call sharia, in their legislation, it was allowed. But today it's abrogated, it's not allowed because we believe in progressive revelation. And God gives different commands based on what people are receptive to, based on their condition as well. So when you talk about water and wine, first, we do not believe there is any historical evidence this happened, number one. Number two, assuming it it happened, we can always say, if this was actually true, that there was different laws for those different people. Perhaps they were allowed to drink a little bit, but uh, at their sharia and their own legislative laws. So it doesn't really cause a problem for us from an Islamic point of view. Mm -hmm. Just like you see Jesus, he had certain commands that he uh, broke from the Jewish tradition. And the Jews were not happy. So he had some progressive revelation things. He Which, ones did most he of the things... hmm? Which ones did he Sorry? broke in specific? For example, if you go to uh, Matthew chapter 15, uh, you will see him washing your hand before you eat or something related to that. You see the Jewish people had the issue with him that, of not keeping that command. Uh, you can, you're welcome to read it if you like. Go from uh, Matthew chapter 15 and read from verse 1 onward. That's an example. I can give many examples, but this is just an example. And then he, he gave them another example in return. But the thing is, these are basic things that he might have broke, but the main things he kept, the Jewish uh, teachings. But there are examples of him doing things like this. So uh, there are certain commands that can be abrogated. And there is progressive revelation. And Christians have to believe in progressive revelations anyway. Because they don't, they don't follow the 630 laws. They don't follow the seven. They don't rest on the seventh day. So they believe there was different commands for different people in different times. And the, what, the commands they have today is not the same commands that people of, of Moses had. Okay, I think this is kind of my final question. Why would Allah intentionally switch Jesus with another person if he knew that certain people would get fooled by this? Wouldn't that mean that he's directly trying to lead people away from Islam? Well, a great question. But the Quran or the Hadith, nowhere does, do they say that Allah switched someone in, in someone else's place. That is, again, based on something that is not there in the Quran or Hadith. Something you heard on the Discord server again, mm. right? So if you go to the Quran, Chapter 4 of the Quran, verse 157, in which what they're referring to, it says word for word, المريم, and their statement that we've killed the Messiah, the son of Mary, they did not kill him, nor did they crucify him. It was made to appear unto them so. That's all it says. Those who differ upon it are in doubt. They have no knowledge, no certain knowledge about what happened. And they, they did not kill him for a surety. Rather, Allah raised him to him. This is what we believe. So Allah says it was made to appear. Was made. Allah didn't say I made it to appear. He says it was made to appear to the people as if he was killed or crucified. When he was not killed or crucified. Which means so history will record that. They deceive right? people? He was intentionally trying to deceive people? It's not about him. The, the verse is there is not saying who did it. What? When the verse what? says, it, when the verse says, when the verse says, it so was made to appear. Allah. Yeah, yeah. It, it verse says it was made to appear, meaning the people believed. It appeared to the people. That's all of the verses say. It appeared to the people as if he did, as if he was killed or crucified. But the thing is, let me tell you something interesting now that mm-hmm. even, even like save you all of this time. It does not matter whether they believed he did or he didn't because that does not change whether they go to paradise or not. If I was a Muslim at the time of Jesus and I lived at uh, the time of Jesus, okay? Yes. And, and I believed that he died, that he was killed or crucified. That is not going to affect whether I go to paradise or not. What matters is his teachings. The reason it's a problem for you Christians 
uh, and I don't mean that offensively, right? I don't mean it offensively, right? <laughs> the reason you guys find it a problem is because you already have a package that you put on that crucifixion. That package is the package of original sin that he actually, that death was not a normal death, but the death that took all the sins of the world. You're putting all of that package onto that specific verse, but that package is not there. So whether he was, whether actually people, there's no deception there because whether people believed he was killed or, or that he was not killed, if they unintentionally or wrongfully believe that he was actually killed as Muslims and they follow his teachings, then there's no problem. They go to paradise. So whatever, so it was more like a stage, the crucifixion, or it was like a, some kind of like a... Well, Allah Azza wa Jalla saved they Jesus, trick, right? They tricked their eyes to see something that wasn't happening? Is that what you're saying? This is the thing. You are asking me about something that happened in the past from the unseen, meaning I've not observed them with my own eyes. So if Allah does not tell me the exact details or the hadith does not tell me the exact details and I was not there, I, you cannot expect me to give you the exact details of what happened. But well, then we you have the just, conclusion. You can, we you have can the just conclusion. Say, you can use the same criteria with the Quran. You were not there when they wrote it. You were not there when all these things happened. Yeah, you're not basing it off. Okay, before we jump we, from we, one thing to another, right? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I mean, wait, wait. We, you yes. and I were not there. You're right. I was not okay, there 2,000 years no, ago. No, no, no. But, but there's a difference there. Look, look. Uh, before we jump from one thing to another, just understand what I'm saying first. When you ask about historical event, it's not the same about when you ask about the Quran, which I know what? it is the same because we have manuscripts of it. It's a written text. It's a written text that we have carbon dated manuscript of from the first century. That is not equal to an event that happened that you're expecting me to tell you the details of it, right? These are, this is not comparison there. There's no comparison. It's a false equivalent. So when I tell you that th what the Quran gives you is the conclusion. Conclusion is people believed he was killed or crucified. And the, as I said, there is no deception there because that does not matter whether they believed it or they didn't believe it. But Allah saved him. So the people believed that he was killed or crucified. And perhaps there is a wisdom behind them believing that he was killed or crucified. So they don't look for him anymore or this or that. But they believed he was killed or, or he was crucified. While in reality, he wasn't killed or crucified. And his people, his disciples, if they followed his teachings, just to worship on God alone, not to worship him. And there is no trinity is if they worship the teachings that he taught, then they go to paradise from an Islamic point of view. There's zero deception there. There's no problem actually from an Islamic point of view. There's only a problem from a Christian point of view.